I think what makes the program special is first um, the USA Health System overall, knowing what institution you're coming into to um, do a pharmacy residency. We're a level one trauma center, comprehensive certified stroke center, so just having those labels overall will allow you to have a more diverse patient population when you're caring and um, furthering your pharmacy education. We have a variety of experiences that we can offer to our uh, prospective residents. We are a level one trauma center, so we do have uh, rotations within the, the trauma area as well as the emergency department. We also have a infectious disease specialist um, on board so that we can offer that as a required and we can also um, offer a required pediatric rotation at a children's hospital. There's a lot of different elective experiences that you can choose. Um, like so for me I was kind of interested in everything so I would say this residency provides a good opportunity to get into anything that you want to maybe explore a little bit more like ambulatory care or internal med. Um, infectious disease, things like that. Although we're a new program, we are accredited now so that residents have a little bit more say in how they get to tweak the program. We haven't been around so long where we don't have a lot of flexibility, so the residents get to kind of build their own electives. We partner, we partner with a lot of um, like uh, AltaPoint and we'll partner with uh, different specialties like endocrinology and cardiology to have some really unique rotations. A prospective student should know about coming to this program. I would just say that I would really emphasize the interaction with the physicians as well as working one-on-one -on -one with your pharmacist preceptors here. I would say that's a really unique perspective and it's good to have the collaboration with the physicians. Um, I've been to other places that don't have that, so it's very nice to be able to work um, in collaboration with them and to be relied upon by them as well. We have face-to-face -face time with the resident a lot. The resident's right there with us in clinic as opposed to being away from the program director. So I get to hear what's going on in their life, what's going on with the other projects they're working on and have that kind of mentorship. But everyone here truly wants us to succeed. We have all of our, especially our RPD, our residency program director, everyone has an open door policy. Um, and so if you, you know who to go to if you have problems and like we feel very comfortable um, going to and asking for help or you know asking for clarification on something or if just we're having a bad day in general just we it's an open door policy we feel very comfortable with each other. It's a very layered learning not only for our students as well as um, our residents and with the faculty. We're able to pretty much uh, tailor our uh, program as well as our precept development to the needs that come in real time. I'm the only PGY2 pharmacy resident in the program. Um, I do have two PGY1 pharmacy residents at uh, University Hospital and I get to work with them every other week and so I feel like that's a little bit of the layered learning approach too so I get to um, guide them and teach them things in the ambulatory care setting. Um, so I really enjoy that. We want the resident to be able to go out and establish a practice site in almost any AMCARE clinic and be able to uh, be able to be an efficient clinician. Uh, one of the unique things is because they see all the way from pediatrics to geriatrics here and then they see all the different layers of third-party payers from different health insurances that they should have that well-rounded mentality when they leave. A lot of people pretty much don't understand like what Mobile has to offer. Mobile is a port city, so you also have that we're two hours away from New Orleans. We have the beaches. Uh, we're actually the, the birthplace of the original birthplace of Mardi Gras. But I've been to a bunch of restaurants downtown so far. Yeah, the food is great. We're right by the bay, so there is a lot of uh, areas for seafood. You can go to the restaurants where you're right there on the Mobile Bay, so they have the great views. Sometimes they have live artists. Always some music or a festival that you can go to. The cost of living is super affordable. Um, I've always lived in apartments, but my fiance and I got a house here. The residency salary, it's pretty competitive, and um, you know, living is affordable here. If you can practice care here, like if you practice this with, with this patient population, you can pretty much go anywhere in the country and practice. Because we have some of the most complex patients uh, with uh, in, in the fact that their indigent care has that other layer of complexity to it because they don't have the same resources, they're lacking social determinants of health. So uh, if you can practice here, you, you can pretty much practice anywhere.